Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own fabric labels. I'm going to show you three different varieties. We'll see if one of them works. I haven't tried that yet but I think it's going to work and if you're not familiar with fabric labels I made this pouch and whenever I make my own pouches or projects I like to put my own little handmade tag in there. So this has got my logo on it. So if I give this as a gift somebody knows that this wasn't store-bought I made this my own two hands and this was a fun embroidery project but the fabric labels come in very handy i also used this method to create just this little small little label that says ace he needed uh labels for his face mask for kindergarten and so this is made out of polyester it's very soft and i was able to just tack that to the inside of his face mask so that um you know if he drops it or loses it or it gets left behind at school they know that it's his so this is also great for that i also have like ace and evie labels that i put whenever i make them pj pants i have their own little logo i've created it says ace and evie and they think that's pretty cool so a lot of uses for this and it kind of goes along with yesterday's video if you watched that where we made customized fabric but here is a sample of some of mine so this is just i just printed this on polyester and all i do is cut them apart and then i have my own little fabric labels now you can do these uh, several different ways i also have this style where you can just fold it like this and then you sew it into the seam which is what you just saw on this bag so you can do you know a variety of things whatever you want to be on your tag you could just do handmade by and sign it or whatever you want so the first thing i did was print my label so i just created a strip of this one's got one two three four different strips of labels and then i just cut them out i did mine for one inch labels so i have cut some different fabrics to one inch strips so this is a piece of polyester we're not going to have to do a thing to this to get this to work this is polyester ribbon just like this 100 percent polyester we're not going to have to do anything to that we can just sublimate right on top of it this is a strip of cotton fabric and i have pre-treated that with the poly t plus i'll walk you through that and then the one thing that i haven't tried yet was i picked up some twill ribbon this is quill cotton ribbon from joann's and i'm not sure if you can see it but it has a bit of a texture on there so i'm not real sure if this is going to take the poly t or not but we are going to give it a try so i'm going to walk you through that process so i've got a strip of the twill this is a same thing it's just a cream colored i've got a strip of this it's 100 percent cotton on my press and the first thing i'm going to do is spray this down really well with the poly t plus i've got my heat press heated to 330 degrees we're going to use our paint roller or a brayer whatever you have to really get that saturated into the ribbon and i've got just a, a glass cloth on my heat press just to protect it all right so now you want to cover that with parchment paper it's important that you use parchment paper not butcher paper for this so you want to put parchment paper on top 330 degrees for 30 seconds you might see some steam coming out of your press while it's pressing it is just pressing that uh, product into the cotton and it's drying it so that's the steam coming out from the moisture so we're just about up we're going to open the press and we're going to give it another light spray so i'm just going to give it another light spray i'm going to take it off the press roll that in put that up and then we're going to cover it another 20 seconds at 330. and our time is up so our twill is you can see it's kind of stiff so it's ready to be sublimated so i am going to put a piece of butcher paper down on my press i'm going to remove this towel i don't need that any longer i'm going to put my ribbon back down i'm going to raise the heat to 385 
going to raise the time to 40 seconds. And we're going to let that come up to temperature. In the meantime, I have already pressed my or poly teed my cotton fabric. So that's going to be ready to go. I'm going to do both of those at the same time. So I've cut out my design in one inch strips. You can see that. I don't know why the glare is so bad today. So we're going to do two different styles. So what I'm going to do is tape my design face down on top of my fabric. And I've got more than I need here. So I'm going to cut a couple off. There we go. And I want to make sure this doesn't shift. So I'm going to use some of my heat transfer tape and tape that down. Now I've got my twill that we, tw my twill that we tweeted, my twill that we treated, and I'm going to try this label on those. You can see that. I love space on these in between because that way you can use this style label where you fold it up and sew that right into your seam. So that's why I have those space like that. So let's see how many we can fit on here. Got one too many. All right. So again, I'm going to put the design face down on the twill and tape that down to my press. And I'm not sure how that twill is going to work out, but we will give it a try and see together. All right. Now I have, this is my polyester ribbon. This is just like regular ribbon that you find all the time. Usually I know Joanne's often has specials on it on the sewing counter. They're like a dollar or something like that. So great big roll of ribbon. We can make beautiful labels with that. So I'm going to take another strip of my designs. We're going to do this one. And again, you want to make sure your designs are mirrored. So we're going to do that one on this one face down. And I've got room for one more. So we will do, this is the strip of polyester. So this is just 100% polyester fabric. And this is really nice for like kid labels or anything that you want to stay soft. So I'm going to grab a few of these and I didn't make a very long strip. So I'm just going to, again, put those on the back. So it's important that your design doesn't move. And again, I'm going to cover it with parchment paper because I have that poly T on some of those. I want to make sure that it stays. And we're going to press at 35 for 40 seconds. Time's up. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm gonna bring this over here so I can pull these up for you. So the first one I have is the cotton fabric that we treated with the Poly T Plus. You can see how nicely those turned out. So I can cut those apart and put those right into a project. Next we have the twill ribbon. I'm gonna show you that. It did work. I don't know that I would recommend this as much. I kind of feel like it um, discolored the twill itself, but it actually did work. And next we have, what's this one? This is the ribbon. This is the polyester ribbon. So you can see how nice that turned out. And lastly, we have our polyester fabric, and this is always the best result. Let's see if I turn it this way, it seems to focus better. So that's the polyester ribbon, or I'm sorry, the polyester um, fabric. So overall, I would say the cotton fabric worked really well. The polyester ribbon worked really well. The polyester fabric worked really well. And the twill, I'm not real excited about. I just feel like it discolored it 
the twill itself a little bit. It took the the print, it took the color, but I feel like the ribbon got discolored. It looks kind of dingy now. So really easy ways to create your own handmade labels. And I just love that I can, like I said, I can make them for Ace, for school, for whatever they need. I can make soft, I can make um, ribbon style, I can make kinds to put inside of my bags. Lots of easy peasy, really quick ways to make labels. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you click that thumbs up, it helps YouTube know that you enjoyed this video and it helps me know that you would like more of this content. Also, click that bell so that you're notified every time there is a new video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, never stop making. See you guys. Bye-bye.